Hi guys, welcome to another video of mine on this really cool DIY channel video epo where we get to make something and we have fun. Thank you subscribers for your support and encouragement. You guys keep me motivated. If you are watching my video for the first time and not subscribed to my channel yet, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button now. You already know what we are going to make for it is there in the video title in capital letters. We are going to make three different kinds of fidget toys. This video is not going to be that long, but if you are in a hurry and want to watch something specific, you can always check the time codes. Now some of you might wonder what are fidget toys some people cannot i repeat cannot keep their fingers idle there are so many things they do fidget is a word that means make small movements especially of hands and feet through nervousness or impatience youtube is exploding with these videos and everybody is making one so what is special about these fidget toys well it's fairly easy to make and very very addictive so let's get started the most important ingredient of the fidget toy is the ball bearing They come in various size and shape with varying ID, the inner diameter, OD, the outer diameter, and thickness as well. For our purposes, a ball bearing with inner diameter that fits in between the fingers should be ideal. The outer ring moves freely when we hold the inner ring. A vernier caliper is a good tool to measure the outside diameter. But if you don't have it, slide the bearing through the compass and the pencil and measure the distance between them. A note was made on the bearing and the diameter from which we can get the radius of the same. For the body, I'm going to use popsicle sticks, wooden reapers, and two empty aluminum plates. Once the shape was roughly visualized, a sketch was made. This gives us the rough idea of how it would look like. A fidget with four corners could come to rest much faster. So making it in the shape of a triangle is a good option. The rough drawing looks like this. Using a bit of basic geometry can help us do a final sketch. I recommend making photocopies, scan or design this on a PC. We might not get everything right in the first time. The shape was then cut and pasted on the desired medium. The outline was roughly cut using a hacksaw. I carefully chose the bearing for which I have the corresponding spade bits. Then the hole were drilled and be cautious here not to break the frame as they can get really fragile here. Once done there was a lot of sanding and I preferred using manual tools and sandpaper here. Bearing fits snugly here except for the center one which is a bit loose. A layer of cellophane tape will fix this quickly. With this our first fidget toy is almost complete and let's see how it works. It comes to a halt quickly because the fingers are still touching the outer diameter. This can be avoided if we add washers, nuts and bolts to the inner ring. This is the test after making those corrections. Finally those corrections were included and I completed the fidget toy. For the second one I laid the popsicle sticks to get the required size then using wood glue I stacked and glued them for about 3 layers to match the thickness of the bearings I will be using Using a spade bit I made the required holes but you might see some patches here popsicle sticks are not strong enough and might chip away don't worry if that happens we can still fix this by filling the gaps with super glue and sawdust Now you know why it's good to collect the sawdust and keep it ready for some good use. This can be smoothened further by sanding or filing. Then the center bearing was fit to check. I'm using a spare bearing for these checking purposes so that the main bearing is not getting damaged. After fitting all the other bearing, this one too has the inner diameter touching the fingers. Hence it was too fit with the bolt in the center. Since the popsicle frame is fragile, I could not make the design as organic I thought, but this shape is working good too. 
the bearings were popped out and it was spray painted for a better look. With this, the second fidget toy of this video is complete. For the third one, I used a hole saw to cut out a circular wooden piece. Using a spade bit, I carved out the center meat turning it into a ring. After a bit of filing and sanding, the bearing was able to fit in. Once done, I super glued some wing nut to the outer side of the wooden ring, completing the third fidget of this video. I am making another one with aluminum which is still under process. I will update you with another video once it's getting completed. That's it guys. Hope you liked my video. There are so many things we learn while we make something and it is not possible to cover all of that information in one particular video. So we can use the comment section given below to engage in a discussion or a conversation and we can share our ideas. Please subscribe to my channel video Epo and as always thanks for watching.